Hi everyone, I have a little video I want to share with you today. It's been a while since I made one, and I'm telling you, you would be dying laughing, rolling on the floor if you knew how many times I've started this tape over again because I'm so out of practice of doing videos. But I wanted to share this little mini album that I created uh, with you today. This stamp set is from There She Goes Clear Stamp Company, and I was asked a couple of months ago to join their design team. And one of our assignments as a member of the design team is to incorporate the stamps into a scrapbook project. So I use this puppy love set to create a little mini album for my dog, and I'm going to share that album with you today. It's just a little simple album that I created. Nothing elaborate, but I thought it turned out so cute. I used a chipboard house album from Michael's Dollar Bin. I've had it for a while. Couldn't tell you how long it's been in the drawer. It's been there for a while, but it was a perfect shape to make a dog house. So, I pulled it out. I covered it with some cardstock that I stamped with a wood grain stamp. There's some, lots of inking, and I found some wooden uh, sticks at Walmart that I used for the roof and inked them also with walnut stain. Got some stickers that I found at Hobby Lobby. Popped these up on some grunge board just to give them a little thickness. The dog. And the butterflies are both from the stamp set. And he is actually bigger than the stamp. I wanted him to be more in proportion with the size of the doghouse on the cover. So I stamped him first and then scanned him on my computer and blew him up and printed him out and then colored him to put on here. So the stamp is actually smaller than this image. But that's the only one. The rest of the ones on the album are all to scale. Uh, this heart is grunge board covered with distress ink and stickles and the door frame and the chimney are all made with pieces of grunge board that I inked and used to make bricks and door frames and whatnot. It's very versatile stuff. I haven't worked with it that much before, but I really popped it out on this, this project and used it a lot. But that's the cover. The first page here is um, a heart that I stamped the dog on, and you can put whatever of the sentiments you want. There are like 39, I think, stamps in the stamp set, and I think I used about 25 of them in this album. So there's quite a variety, lots of cute sentiments, and you'll see as you go through the album, there's there's lots of ways to use the stamps. Um, this and this, both those sentiments are from the, the stamp set. It's a piece of chipboard that I covered with ink and then with stickles, and I didn't like the way the stickles looked, so I pulled out my Tim Holtz sander and just sanded them off and it came out really cool because there was some silver left from the, the stickle sparkle and just I liked it a lot better the way it looked. But the heart I popped up and made a pocket for the dog bone and the dog bone is actually a tag with some information about my dog and, and when we got her. We got her when she was three months old and there's some doodling around the, the pages. I just used a pen and doodled around it and, and inked it a little bit too. And this is her when we got her. Like I said, she was a little three month old butterball. I used to rock her in the recliner like a baby. That's, I think that's why she thinks she's a human. <laughs> but anyway, this stamp is from the set. Um, and this was just a little chipboard piece I hung on with a pen. The dog prints are from the, the stamp set also. This is a sticker. I put some buttons and twine and some dog print brads and some chipboard pieces. Um, this one I painted and muted and this one I painted and put glossy accents on. This one was inked and glossy accents and then I got some rickrack on here for that page. And the next one, I had fun with this one. I took a little um, I'm not sure what you call these little bags. You know, normally they have the little jagged edges, and I just cut the top off. Used a nasty to cut this shape, and then traced around it with a pen, um, and just lettered, hand lettered treats on there. But I took some more grunge board. The bone stamp is from the set, and I just stamped a bunch of them on the grunge board and cut them out and colored them in with a white gel pen to make the little dog treats. And I cut out a circle, put some acetate in there. For the bag and popped all the bones in for dog treats. The dog is from the stamp set, the cinnamon is from the stamp set. These two I just made up and printed out. Um, then I had some chipboard buttons I covered with some digital paper. Every piece of paper in here 
the print paper is from a digital paper set from Knitwits called Tail Wags 2 that you can find online. I'll put a link on there for that. I wanted to be able to have the papers to scale and not just have these huge prints that just got lost under all the embellishments. So I used those and made a tag. That's some more of the papers from the set. Oops. Put some fibers on there and this is um, some information about the, her favorite kinds of treats that she likes, which there's not a tag big enough to cover. So anyway, um, the next page, that's her now all grown up. Actually, this picture is a couple of years old because she's 14 now and she doesn't move like this anymore. Poor girl, she's got arthritis really bad, but um, that this fence and the tree are chipboard pieces that were from a basic gray set. They had adhesive on the back of them already. I covered this fence in crackle paint and some vintage photo. For the tree, I painted it. And then for the leaves, I wanted to use felt, but I didn't have green felt. And I didn't want to have to make a special trip to the store to get green felt. So I decided that I would experiment, and I used alcohol inks. So I just took another piece of the felt, cut it off and put it on the... Um, the wood handle piece and filled it up with alcohol ink and started stamping the leaves that I had cut out with the um, I think it was a memory box die cut that I used for these leaves and I ended up getting all these different shades of green and I just thought it looked so cute as leaves on the tree so the butterflies and the clouds are all from the stamp set and the next page was a fun one. This is the very first thing I made for this album. Normally I start with the cover and then I work on the pages, but this, I knew I wanted to put a dog collar in it and that was the first element I made. So I went to Hobby Lobby and found a buckle, just the buckle part, in the fabric section. Then I cut grunge board to fit in the opening for the buckle, cut holes in it with my crocodile. I inked it with black soot and then went over it with some um, the Glossy Accents crackle finish and added some brads for studs on it and put that across the page as a holder for the tag. And I just love how it turns out. Um, this is a sentiment from the stamp set and another dog from it. This was another sticker that I put on grunge board. The tag I wanted to look like a rubber ball. Dog's got to have a ball. And I wanted it to have some texture on it. So, <laughs> of all things, I used my um, metal meat tenderizer and <laughs> pounded on the other side of the, the uh, cardstock to get this texture to come out, kind of a rough texture. And I added some twill tape and a button and some twine and backed it in some craft paper and used that for a tag to write some stuff about the... Um, tricks that she will perform, or used to perform, but she can't do them anymore, to get her treats. But that is that page, and here's when she was able to roll over and do this kind of stuff. Um, the rollover and the shake are stickers. These are some brads I found at Michael's. These are chipboard pieces I covered with some of the digital papers and did some doodling on. Like I said, the butterflies are from the stamp set, so is the sun. I cut these clouds with a, that was another memory box die, cut those out of felt and put some stickles on there to give them a little, I don't know if you can see, it's just a tiny bit on there just to give them a little shimmer. And um, that's that page. The next one is this one. For this one, the paw prints are from the stamp set. I stamped them first in ink. Then I used Versamark and added some clear embossing powder to give them some texture. I cut a piece of brown cardstock and then layered a couple of those wood grain planks across there and tied some hemp cord. The little letters here, um, I'll give a link. You can find them online. Um, she put like three pages with a ton of the letters on there that you can download and then you can crop out which letters you need and print them out whatever size and make little scrabble tiles out of them. They're really cute. 
I ink those a little bit and then put some glossy accents on them to give them a little shine. But I use that for the um, pocket to hold the, the tag in. The tag is some more of the design uh, digital papers. Another stand, uh, gosh, another button and some twill tape. Some more craft paper on the back with some information about her. And there's a button down here with some hemp cord, another sentiment from the stamp set, and another dog. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can trade out what sentiment goes in the heart on this stamp, too. So that's that page. Then it's matching page. This is... I just love this picture. She just looks so pretty in this picture. And I, I had to give her a crown. <laughs> So this uh, cinnamon is from the stamp set. Uh, these were some stickers that put on the grunge board. This is a sticker. This acetate piece I found at Target a couple of years ago. And I thought it just made the cutest frame around her photo. For this, I had found a Tiny Tags Cuddle Bug Die at Michael's on clearance for like $4. It has all these little tiny um, shaped tags in it. So I cut out enough to fit for her name. I covered those with some platinum, um, one of those dewdrop ink um, ink things in, in the platinum. And then I had found some stickers at Hobby Lobby that I spelled out her name with. And then I threaded some bead chain through the holes on the tags to kind of simulate a dog tag. I know a dog tag is just a single tag, but I wanted to spell out her name and I thought that was a cute way to do it. So I put that on that page, and that's the last actual picture page. And you had the, the back of the album that I also did the planking on to continue the, the theme of the doghouse. Did some more of the grunge board pieces inked up and made for the chimney and the wood piece for the roof. This is another stamp from the set, and you can also trade out what sentiment goes on the sign that the little dog's holding. Then I signed it and put stamped my name on there with one of those changeable roller stamps and that's the back of the album but like I said it's very simple it's just a cute little album about my dog and and I hope you liked it I just wanted to share it with you and hope 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 I can find some more time to do some more mini albums because I had so much fun doing this one so maybe I'll see you soon thanks for watching bye